Welcome to Cellular Respiration, hilariously explained by a disgruntled overburdened biology student. Before we begin, let's clarify a few things. ATP is considered the currency of biological energy. That is, without ATP, the energy locked inside glucose is useless because it can't be used directly by the body. There are three forms of cellular respiration, aerobic, which is the most common, anaerobic, which does not use oxygen, and fermentation, which is much shorter than the first two. Finally, three energy molecules are made during cellular respiration. We'll keep track of them at the... National, National Bank, Bank of, of Energy! Every time molecules of energy are made, we'll put them in their respective box and announce the final balance at the end of the video. So we first begin with stage one, glycolysis, which all starts with a glucose molecule. I'm a glucose molecule. I have so much energy. Let's restrain him. Uh-oh, who's there? We are the ATP. You're gonna be in depth for a little while, guys. ka -ching! Let's break it up, shall we? No! <laughs> a bunch of reactions later. Oh boy, that's gotta be it. Nope, here we are getting our share. <laughs> a bunch of more reactions later. We're charged up. Keep the score, guys. ka -ching! For fermenters, the process pretty much ends here. They take a pyruvate molecule and two NADHs and convert to, most commonly, lactic acid or ethanol plus carbon dioxide, depending on the bacteria. Back to cellular respiration. We are now beginning stage 2, which is the Krebs cycle, aka the citric acid cycle. Phew, that was exhausting. Let's unwind at the mitochondrion funhouse. Hey, let's ride the Krebs cycle coaster. Stop. You must be this short to ride the Krebs cycle. NAD plus! I need some muscle! <laughs> there we go. Hang on, I have to hold you before oxalic acetate rides with you. Don't forget to keep the score, guys. ka dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee There he is. Take care of him, Oxal. Perfect! I'm a citric acid molecule, hence the alternate name. Let's ride this baby! Ah, a first scare! An NAD plus molecule! Freak out! <laughs> well, I'm a five carbon molecule, but that's the first scare! Here comes the next! Ah! <laughs> okay, bottom line, since you don't have all day and neither do I. These reactions go on for some time. In summary, three NADH molecules are made from three reactions, one ATP molecule from one reaction, and one FADH2 from the four carbon molecule. Right complete, let's add them up, don't forget to double. ka -ching! We are now at stage three, the electron transport system, which yes, is similar to the electron transport chain in chloroplasts. All aboard the electron transport system! I'm coming, please wait! First stop, Complex 3! Hey, wait for me! You hitch a ride after this one! Here we are at Complex 3! Hey, Electron Transport number 2! Catch! Come on, hydrogen cations! Move it! <laughs> Next stop, Cytochrome C! Hey, Cytochrom say, go along! Receive the electrons. Final stop, Complex 4. We're now at Complex 4. Hey, Oxygen, catch! <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, alright guys, we're going back into the mitochondrial matrix. Let's take the ATP synthase. <laughs> For anaerobic respirators, the ending is a little different. Depending on the reactants and bacteria, any compound other than oxygen is the final electron acceptor and creates multiple compounds ranging from sulfur to methane. Side note here, for every 12 energy molecules, 10 NADHs and 2 FADH2s, 24 electrons are released, which in turn make 12 water molecules. In the electron transport chain, each NADH molecule permits three hydrogen protons to move across the membrane, while each FADH2 molecule permits two. 
Here's why. When an NADH molecule releases its two electrons, those electrons transfer to three different complexes, activating them each time the electrons passes through them before reducing oxygen to make water. The FADH2 molecule releases its two electrons further down the electron transport chain, which is why only two hydrogen cations move. Back to cellular respiration. So in the end, 10 NADHs and 2 FADH2s moves a whopping 34 hydrogen protons. And at the rate of 1 hydrogen proton to make 1 ATP molecule, 34 ATPs are made. Let's update the checkbook. ka -ching! Congratulations! Out of 1 glucose molecule, you just made 38 ATPs! Yay! And eh, not really. And that, my friends is cellular respiration. Thanks for watching.